Good morning today, or good afternoon rather. Today we are looking at transitioning from the storms to the heat coming up for this afternoon for some of us. And we are looking west in Fargo and you could see all that blue sky. If I were to turn the camera around the opposite direction, we'd still be seeing the rain and storm clouds as well. But I want to look toward that blue sky after a stormy morning. And some of us are stuck with storms still here. You could see a couple of cells in southwestern parts of Cat or Clay County back up into western parts of Becker and stretching into Norman County. A couple of cells with a little brighter red and uh, oranges going on there. And there's some white associated with them too. Maybe some small hail. That's been the main factor for us today with hail that was as large as golf balls for some places this morning. So it was a big hailer. And as we expand the view, you can see that we still have that ongoing rain and thunder hitting lakes country, but it is sliding to the southeast. So the overall trend will be for this to clear and then we'll end up with more sunshine. Northern Valley finally getting that after a rough morning in those areas. And then over to the west too, we've got uh, some sunshine and clear sky and we're starting to see it now in Fargo. But you can make out where the rain is. That's where temperatures are in the 60s. It's 64 in Wadena and Detroit Lakes. In contrast, 88 in Langdon. So we've really been heating up there. 68 in Fargo, much warmer in Grand Forks at 77. And I am factoring in the heat index now for those areas out to the west because there's some mugginess going on. And Langdon already feels like we're in the low 90s. And this will be an issue for us as we continue on into the afternoon. The overall wind has been generally out of the south and still on average, that was what we're looking at. We have gusts into the 20s in some of uh, several locations, and then one gust to 30 miles per hour in Sisseton. So a little breezy this afternoon. Here's your hour by hour planner. We are going to continue to see some of these rain and thunder showers dipping to the south and east. Uh, some of them may linger into that far southeastern part of our viewing area, that little corner there. But the rest of us really getting some sunshine continuing on into the afternoon and the heat building in from the west. Maybe you've heard that they've hit 100 degrees in the Williston area yesterday. And we're looking at the potential for that again today. Look at Bismarck by this afternoon, near 100 there, hot in Minot and some of that hot air is nosing its way into eastern North Dakota this afternoon. So more places seeing some temperatures reaching the low 90s, factor in some humidity, and it's getting pretty oppressive out there. So keep in mind, it's going to get hot here over the next few hours. Warmer to the east, too, than we've been recently. We'll be under the mid-80s. You'll feel the mugginess as well, but not as intense as what we've got going on out west. With that heat, the storms will be kept at bay for the time being. But as we head into the late night hours tonight, this is 10 o'clock. Watch as we see our next chance for rain and thunder once again dip into the valley for the early morning hours. Tomorrow morning, we could see some of these storms impact that morning drive yet again as we head into early Thursday before clearing out and more heat taking over uh, mid to upper 80s to some low 90s again for your Thursday. So some hot weather ahead for the second half of the week and unsettled too. You know, that next round of storms comes in uh, around the same time overnight tonight and into tomorrow. And then on Friday, heat building in again and then the storms develop and some of those could hang around overnight and into Saturday morning. So that may start your Saturday a little unsettled. But once that cold front clears, we're looking at more comfortable conditions and dry weather as we head into the rest of the weekend. So it looks pretty good. Just got to get that uh, rain out of here on Saturday morning. And we keep those 80s around as we start next week as well. So more storms and later today, more heat. Just the beginning of the week, we thought we had a perfect week and it was going to be nice. And then look, the rain chances are back. And then of course, Friday is a rain chance as well. We're never going to get a clear Friday. Thanks again, Lisa.